Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on The Witcher 3, the next gen update. We're going to be using the RTS 4090, and we're going to be playing the game at the Ultra Plus settings at 440p. Okay, so I'm back. There was a bunch of issues with this game. I'm kind of forced into DirectX 11, which will disable all the ray tracing features and the LSS features that we have available to us. So if I go into the settings, look at, <laughs> look at the roach. Alright, as you can see, we're still in the Ultra Plus preset. Everything is set to its highest value. But the issue is with DirectX 11, we can't use ray tracing features. So I will have to push it up to DirectX 12 to have them enabled again. But the problem with that is the overlay doesn't work. The Steam overlay doesn't work and the FPS overlay doesn't work with DirectX 12. So for the first part of the video, I'm going to be using DirectX 11 and then move on to DirectX 12 once we get to the ray tracing features. Now they might behave differently, so I'm going to spend a bit more time on DirectX 12 as well once I reset that ray tracing. But still, just want to put it out there. It's a bit annoying how it wasn't tested, but hopefully we'll get yeah, fixed yeah. later on. So far, we're getting 190 FPS at the max settings at 440p and no ray tracing. Getting a bit of stuttering. Yeah, we are getting some stuttering for sure. But so far, we're doing quite fine. GPU is fully maxed out and FPS is ranging between 180 to 200, which I think is the max FPS that I've seen it get. Might be the engine limit at this point. We're pulling around 360 watts of power, which is quite good for the 4090 to be honest. And yeah, let's keep going though. Alright, stuttering has gone away pretty much. It's running quite good. I am running this game up an SSD as well. And load times are incredibly quick now. It loads in like a couple of seconds at this point. Whereas before it would take like 10 to 20 seconds, even with an SSD. Which was a bit rough. Uh, fast travel to the main city in Novigrad. This area will be very CPU intensive. And as you can see, we're getting around 100 FPS. If we're sitting at 50% usage, FPS is doing quite fine. This will be interesting to see on the Steam Deck, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Alright, I think this is a good time for me to go ahead and restart the game. Whoa, 80 FPS actually. Hold on a second. Look at that low frame rate. 70 to 80 FPS while I was running through this little archway. That was very intensive. Look at this, 80 FPS with all the, all the characters on screen. And I've even lowered the amount of characters on the screen as well to medium to help out the CPU a little bit, but not really helping at all. Alright, and after a quick restart, I'm using DirectX 12 now. Still playing the game at the Ultra Plus settings. There we are. Graphics. There we go. So FPS is already far lower, sitting at 100 FPS instead of 180 to 200. This is not really running as well as DirectX 11, unfortunately. But if you want to use ray tracing or DLSS, then you're kind of forced into using the X12. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the main city at Novigrad. We're getting around 110 to 130 FPS with some dips into the 80s there as well. So hopefully we can at least match that. So 50 FPS with DirectX 12 and around 100 FPS with DirectX 11. So twice the performance pretty much. This doesn't really seem right. I've restarted the PC, drivers are all up to date. We started the game a couple times as well. This is actually my second time recording this part, so I already knew this was going to happen. But this gives us a chance to enable frame generation DLSS 3.0. The game is stuttering a little bit. Yep, the game is definitely stuttering a little bit. But FPS is sitting in the 130s now instead of the 60s and 50s. Let's keep going though. The quality looks a little bit worse. Slightly worse, not really by a lot really. Looks more grainy to be honest, more than anything. But yeah, FPS is sitting in the 130s to 140s, with some dips into the low 100s slash the 110s. DLSS isn't really as polished in this game as you would imagine. Has a lot of bugs to it, the game will stutter far more, you will see some flickering with DLSS 3.0. So, it's just not ideal yet. But hopefully we'll patch it out and fix it up, because right now it is good, but not as good as it can be. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and quit out, use RT at max settings, and come back when that's done. And once again, playing the game with RT at max settings at 440p. No DLSS, 3.0 or 2.0 at all. And we're getting 60 FPS. Wow. It's quite nice. The game looks fantastic with RT enabled. And this is different than the console versions. We get some extra features that they don't get. So the game will be far more intensive on PC than it is on consoles, if you do choose to enable those features. But look at the reflections, looking beautiful. I can even hide the trees and they'll also reflect since they are ray traced. 
and not screen space. GPU is sitting at 98%, so pretty much fully maxed out. Uh, this looks amazing. Alright, inside the jungle we're getting 50 FPS on our low end and 60 FPS on our high end. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game and enable DLSS 3.0. So I'm going to go to the display, frame generation, the graphics, DLSS. And now, running with DLSS 3.0, we're getting 130 FPS with max RT at Ultra Plus settings. So we more than doubled our FPS. This is beautiful, it's running so well now, wow. They don't look like the most high resolution reflections to be honest, but they do look realistic still, I would say. At Novigrad, we are getting 90 FPS. The game is flickering like crazy though. So in the city, we're getting around 70 to 90 FPS. It is still playable, obviously, above 60 is fine by me. But now, let's go and disable DLSS 3.0 and see what we truly get with this card. Alright, and without DLSS 3.0, we're getting 40 FPS. But the flickering issues are still here. Might be a ray trace issue then. Sitting in the mid 40s, almost the 50s. But on average, we're going to be sitting in the mid 30s up to the low 40s, I would say. Still playable, obviously, you can get away with playing this game at 30 FPS. But if you've got a 4090, I would imagine you don't want to play the game at 30 FPS. Look at those reflections, though. Wow. You can see the guard, but you can't see his torch in his hand. That's kind of funny. Look at that. The torch is missing in his reflection. Alright, let's quit out, play the game at 4K, and come back when that's done. Alright, we're back down to DirectX 11, using the Ultra Plus settings at 4K. As you can see, playing the game at 4K right here, and graphics is set to Ultra Plus. There we are. And here we go. Getting 110 FPS, so we lost, what, around half our frames. We're sitting in the 180s to 200s at 440p Ultra Plus settings. And now we're sitting at 110 FPS, which is quite good still, honestly, at 4K. Seems about what the 4090 can handle at the max settings. So it would be nice to see the same thing at DirectX 12. We had the same issue with Dying Light 2 as well. When that released, there was a big issue with DirectX 12. It caused the game to stutter and lose frames. But that got fixed up later on, so... I'm sure this will happen to this game as well, at some point. GP sitting at 99% as you would expect. So it's been fully utilized. VRM is sitting at 6 gigs, which is a bit low, honestly, for 4K. I was expecting far more usage out of it, but it is what it is, I guess. What can we do? And yeah, FPS hasn't really moved much in this area. We're just sitting in the 110s to 120s and occasionally pushing up into the 130s and 140s. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to Novigrad. We're still getting CP bottleneck. GPU is sitting at 80% usage. So we could be getting far better performance if we had a better CPU. But still, able to hold around 80 to 110 FPS. Not bad, to be honest, around what we had outside of the city, but this area is going to be less GPU intensive and more CPU intensive. And as you remember from before, with ray tracing, we had far better reflections in this area. And now, they look very bland and pretty much don't really exist. They're just some water, pretty much, with no reflections on them. With 4K Ultra Plus settings with DirectX 12, we're getting 90 FPS. About 80 FPS, actually. GPU is going to be fully maxed out, obviously. But performance is slightly lower than what we had at DirectX 11. But not by too much, only like around 20 FPS around there. Whereas at 440p we lost around like 90. But there's not much point in playing in DirectX 12 and losing your frame rate if you're not going to be using the extra features that come with it, like DLSS or ray tracing. So let's go ahead and enable DLSS and see what we get. Alright, and here we are with DLSS 3.0 at 4K Ultra Plus settings. FPS is slowly climbing up to 140, there we go. Getting a little bit of stuttering happening, but that's right. Hopefully, it will go away. Let's call Roach. Where's Roach at? Roach, where are you? Let's go. Game's looking really nice. Just as good as native, pretty much. And we're not really getting any glitches with the graphics yeah, that I can now. tell. But, I mean, oh, no, we don't want to go there. No, thank you. I'm going to go to somewhere else. I don't want to fight. Playing on the highest difficulty in this save, so I want to focus on the video and not on the fighting. 
But yeah, around 130 to 140 FPS. Sometimes you can get 150 FPS, but that's kind of rare. No stuttering anymore. We had some at the start, but that's gone away now. It's quite beautiful how well it's running so far, to be honest. And again, I'll mention this one more time. First time I was recording this, DLSS 3.0 was broken. The game was stuttering far more. And even restarting the game wouldn't fix it. So, I don't know what's happened, but the game is running really good now. And I'm not going to complain about it. So, lowest FPS I've seen it hit so far is around 125. And the max is around 150, pretty much. And again, the graphics also look fantastic. There's not really any issues that I can spot while I'm riding Roach. That sounds weird. Why did I say it like that? Alright, after a restart, is it fixed? Or are we going to be getting stutters? Okay. Getting some. But yeah, far better now. So yeah, this game is kind of unstable with the LSS. You got to restart the game sometimes to make it fully apply and work properly. And even then, you might have to restart again just to make it work. But we're getting around 140 FPS here anyway. GP sitting at 86%. The game is stuttering like crazy again though. Man, this is not running well. So lowest FPS I've seen it hit is around 104 and max is around 140. So quite good, but the stuttering is so bad that it's kind of unplayable. I can't even lie. Is that guy okay? He's coughing his lungs out. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and restart and use RT at max settings. No DLSS and go from there. Alright, and with ray tracing at 4K, we are getting 35 FPS. These are the settings for the ray tracing settings. Here we are. And yeah, just about 40 FPS. Man, look at the graphics though. It looks so good. It's kind of insane. Alright, there's not really much for us to test that at this point. 30 FPS is what we're going to be getting. Haven't fallen below 30 yet. Oh, I spoke too soon. Just had to dip into the high 20s for a split second. Game is stuttering like crazy as well though. Just keep that in mind. Not the most stable 30. Alright, and with DLSS is 3.0. We're getting 90 FPS. Wow. But yeah, look at this. The quality looks fantastic. It looks just as good as native still. FPS is twice as good. Getting some micro stuttering actually in this area, unfortunately. But it wasn't bad before. The game feels responsive still. I know with the 3.0 you want to have at least 60 FPS to have a good playable experience. And this isn't going to be running the game at 60 FPS with the 2.0. But still, game feels responsive. Doesn't really feel input laggy at all to me. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like 90 FPS either. It's somewhere in between, pretty much. 30 FPS still, seriously? That's kind of impressive, to be honest. This area is super intensive. GP is fully maxed out. And we're just sitting on the edge of 30. There's a lot of water, there's a lot of torches, so a lot of light sources. A lot of shadows. But the card is still able to hold a steady 30 the entire time. Even though the FPS is far worse, I would still choose to use RT mode. And play the game at 80 to 90 FPS than play the game in DirectX 11 mode and get 110 FPS. So finally at 440p, if you want to play the game without RT, then stick to DirectX 11. You will be getting around 180 to 200 FPS with some dips down into the 120s and 130s in the city areas. At 4K, doesn't really matter as much. DirectX 11 and 12 will perform about the same, but 12 will be slightly lower in terms of your FPS. But in general, I think with this card you should use RT and take advantage of it. Looks fantastic. DLSS 3.0 is a bit buggy right now. It can screw up sometimes and you gotta restart the game. But hopefully that'll get fixed out. But you should be using it at 4K especially. It will make your game far more playable. Especially with RT. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys tonight for The Witcher 3 with the RTX 3080. See you guys there.